with you, man. Kenny, let it go. It ain't worth it, man. You always gotta take the shot, man. You ain't Kobe. Watch out. And you're not on this team anymore, boy. What? In case you didn't notice, we won. And I told you before, I am not tolerating your selfish behavior. Pack your things and you're off my team. Shut up. Hit the showers. Uh, you did it again, Kenny. Oh, man, you know I just do what I can. Yeah, man, you keep dropping these 40 point games, we might make it back to the playoffs. That's the plan, right? Yes, sir. It is. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, man. Sean. You getting out with us tonight or what? Yeah, man. What you mean? All right. Bill. Yo. You getting out with us tonight, man? Yeah, man, you know I'm going out tonight. Okay, we'll meet you over there at the club. Yes, sir. Kenny? You going? I'm going, man. I gotta call wifey first, though. Mm hmm. Uh, so, 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 the warden ain't gonna let you out, man. Boo! Oh, I don't know about you. I'm going out. I'm going to celebrate because this party will never die. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, what's up, man? That's a wrap, man. Hey, hey, what's going on over here? Nothing. McLean! 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 Let's go! 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 let us go 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 let us this was a great game tonight. Thanks on how many you put up. 10 and 10. What? Only 10? It was a hot 10, man. And I'm finna go celebrate. We gotta hit the club. Oh, I'm glad you said that, because I need your help tonight. Here we go again. No, 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 no. No, this is good. See, I'm at this hammer at the game. She got a friend. Jay, I don't know, man. What? Come on, mighty wing, man. What's okay, your okay, but if she looked like the last angry bird that you tried to hook me up with, I'm not doing it. I'm lying, say I'm sick or something. No, no, no. It's all good. And I'm glad you said that because they right behind us. Ding! Oh. Janine, Beth. It's my homeboy, Curtis. Hi, Curtis. Nice Hello. to meet you. Mm -hmm. Curtis nice King, you. pleasure to meet you both. And I'm, oh, wait, I'm vibrating. Hold oh, on. I'm vibrating too. <laughs> you know what? Let's call. I gotta take this. What? Give me, give me thirty seconds. I'll be right back. What you talking about? Hey, man, it's hammer time. It's hammer time. Oh, ladies, sorry about that. Look, let's go. No, I'm sorry. I can barely hear what you're saying. What? 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 What, what happened? How, how come nobody called me? I'm two hours away. I'll be there in two hours. All right. Doc. Uh, my name is Curtis King. That's my mother, Mildred, in there. Is she okay? She's stable. Between the sedative I gave her and the pain medication, she'll probably be asleep till sometime tomorrow. That's the second time. Why does this keep happening? Curtis, your mother has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It's a type of heart disease that results in a thickening of the walls of the heart. It impedes the process of normal blood flow. It's what caused your mother's heart failure today. But your mom checked in around noon. She was complaining of fatigue, chest pain. That's when she collapsed in the waiting room, but thankfully she was already here. So now what? Truthfully, as bad as her heart is, we need to keep her here until we're sure she's out of danger. Mm -hmm. All right, the heart's unpredictable. She could have more trouble tomorrow, or she may never have a problem again. So for now, rest, medication, no stress, that's about all we can do. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. I'll make sure you have my information before you leave. Okay, thanks, right. Dad. You're gonna love this. Morning, Ma. Morning, baby. <laughs> Curtis, mm -hmm. could you please tell Mary to get this food out of here? She keeps trying to <laughs> feed me. Ma, you need to eat. Ugh. All right, can you at least bring me something decent then? This is better than decent. This is good food, mm -hmm. healthy. Mm -hmm. Now, you know you're restricted to heart healthy foods, Mildred. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell. Come on. Oh. Okay, I'll eat some. Good. 
Oh. And you'll be surprised how much you start to like it. I'll be back to check on you later, okay? Okay. And you know, if you need anything, just give me a buzz. Okay. I like her. <laughs> just buzz me. All right, though. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, she's pretty, too. You're welcome. She's pretty. She's pretty. She is. You started stuff. <laughs> no, I'm not. Ah, I'm not starting nothing. Uh, mm. So, how many days have I been here? Three days. How long you been here? Three days. Oh. It's cool. I talked to my professors. They said I could make up the work. <clears throat> when you headed back? Um, I was actually thinking about not going back. Uh, and then uh, you got another thing coming. Honey, I know you worried about me, honey, but you're about to graduate and you, you know, put off college the last time I got sick and you made me a promise. I know what I said, Mom, mm. but somebody got to stay here and take care of you. Honey, that's what the doctors and nurses are for. Now, <clears throat> sick or not, I am still your mother and I expect you to keep your word to me. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, you hungry? Am I? I've been nibbling on the stuff they keep bringing you. Yeah. Well, Mary said there's some decent food downstairs. Okay. Well, you sit tight. I'm gonna run downstairs and get something to eat. Okay. I love you, Mary. I love you, too. <laughs> the hat of Mary. I will. Mm-hmm. You're trying to get some grandbabies. Ooh, lots of grandbabies. So you got the, the number to the phone here and um, Dr. Bailey's number, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to call you every day mm -hmm. and every weekend that I don't have an away game, I'm coming down to see you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And make sure you stay on them books. And make sure you still call me after every game. I will, Mom. Mm -hmm. I love you, Mom. And I love you, too. I'll call you and let you know I made it. All right, babe. Be safe. I will. Mary's on duty tonight. You might want to, like, stop by a station. There you go, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Excuse me, Mary. Oh, hey. Hey. I wanted to say thank you for all the help with my mom. You don't have to thank me. Oh. And... Also, normally when Dr. Bailey we... isn't here, you are, so is it possible? Oh, you know what, say no more. This is my direct number, so feel free to call me whenever you have questions about your mother. I will. And I'll keep a close eye on her for you. You're welcome. You got good taste, Junior. Just like your old man. I know you're not going to walk away without speaking. I'm still your father. <laughs> you know, you got a lot of authority in your voice. It's for somebody who's been gone for 15 years. And you're not my father. Mary, yeah. sorry to bother you. Um, Dr. Bailey said that my mother should remain stress-free, and that includes unfaithful ex-husbands and deadbeat dads. So under no circumstances is this man allowed in to see my mom, okay? Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute, Junior. I can't... My name ain't Junior. And you grab me again, you get in a room in here. Huh, the king. What's going on, boss? What'd it do? Yo, man, I just talked to Coach. He let me know what's going on with your mom. How's she doing? A little better, man. A little better. Good, man, because I'm hoping you're going to be able to come to practice today because I've been killing your boy, Sean. <laughs> I already know, man. I got my internship with Doc Thompson today, All but right. after that, I'll be at practice, see if I can put the cuffs on you. Cool. Hope so. I'll be there. All right, superstar. All right, man. Curtis. Curtis. Hey, Dr. Thompson. I need to see you in my session room. Be in one minute. 
I'll be right with you. Doc, you want to see me? Come on in, Curtis. Have a seat. You all right? I haven't heard much from you today. I'm all right. I thought you said your mother was doing better. She's stable. I saw my pops when I was home. It's a, it's a long story. I, he left when I was nine and haven't seen him since. I've got some time if you want to talk about it. I appreciate it, Doc, but no thank you. Okay, then, let me make a suggestion. What's that? It's a journal. From what I understand, people write in them. Sometimes, when you're dealing with something that's difficult to talk about, it can be a little easier to write about it. Doc, guys don't keep diaries. <laughs> Curtis, it's, it's your decision. But that little book right there can help you out more than you will ever know. Look, take 10 minutes a day, sit down, unload. It's like writing a note to yourself. And nobody ever has to know what you write about. And if you feel like you want to run something by me, it's cool, I'm here for you. Just let me know. Okay, I'll take it with me. I'm not promising I'm gonna write any though. I might put some girls' numbers in here. Okay. One more thing. Take Mr. Everett's file down to the outpatient desk on your way out. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Excuse me, Dr. Thompson asked me to drop these off here. Then drop them off. Don't go in that bathroom for like 60 minutes, man. Seriously. Sue, oh. really? You gonna come assassinate our bathroom like that and then give us some kind of disclaimer? Man, you got a bathroom in your apartment. Oh, man, I ain't got no toilet tissue, man. Oh, man, you couldn't, couldn't use some air freshener or light a book of matches or something? Man, I got some bad news. I, I don't know I don't know who face cloth I use, man. <laughs> I just... You use my face cloth? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. Was it yellow? Because when I just got through you, I just washed my face on oh. it. Have you been doing that? I don't know, man. It was a yellow oh, one. This might be the call. I've been waiting for. I ain't messing with y'all. Man, I don't yes. your... that, That's Karen. What? That's Karen? Yes. Booty got, calls? Got to handle that. Get it, player. Get it, player. See, um, this. Um, this, 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 this. It's all mine. I'm gonna take it whenever I want it. <laughs> Question. Listening. We've been, I don't know, we've been kicking it for about three months now. Um, why is it that the only time I see you is when you want your toes curled? <laughs> well, Mr. Curtis, it's because you're the best toe curler. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> no, but seriously, that's our arrangement, right? What? Friends. Benefits. Mm -hmm. All the curling. benefits. All the benefits. Yes, I like it. Well, what if I want a little more? 
Like what? I don't know. Like, you know, maybe go out to dinner sometime or catch a concert or, you know, <laughs> a date night. Um, mm-mm, but it's simple, you know? Why it's, it's, it's simple. Let's just keep it there. I don't know if I want to do all that. Okay. So, for clarity, this is a booty call in reverse. A booty call? Yes, I'm a booty call for you. No, you're not a... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah? Yeah. No. Ish. Mm-hmm. You know, not like... <laughs> Come on, Kurt. Okay, okay, so you won't be mad if I, if I go find somebody who does want all that, because I'm, I'm ready for that. You do you, I'll do me, and we'll just have fun. Like that game tonight. That mm -hmm. was a good game. This was a very good game. We both won. We did. Mm -hmm. I think we're going into overtime. I agree. I'm on it. I promised I would be, and I am. You just make sure you're getting some rest. Yeah. Curtis, come back to bed, baby. Oh, uh, Ma. I got the oils that's, ready. Just Jay. Come back to bed. You play so much. <laughs> Ma, that's Jay. I pro you know better than that, Ma. You ain't, you ain't even raised me like that. Okay? Oh, yeah, you I did. You don't know about your son. Ma, I love you. Uh, uh, bye. I I'm going to call you later. You play too much. <laughs> No, too much. You, no, you played too much. You did that the last time I was on the phone with my pastor. He's still looking at me crazy. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get into last night? Oh, man. Kicking that girl out. Why? Man, she kept playing red light, green light with me all night. Red light, green light? You know that game that we used to play when we was kids? Yeah. Red light, green light, yeah. OK, so me and honey, we on the couch, right? We getting turned up. I'm hitting the neck and all that. So she hitting the shirt back like green light. Wow! <laughs> red light. I'm like, okay, it's different. Maybe she's kinky. Maybe she like to play freaking games. Mm -hmm. I'm into all of that, right? We run it back. I'm hitting the neck again. I mean, this time I'm, I'm hitting it, right? Pulling the shirt back. Green light. And bow. Red light. Now, after about an hour and a half of this, I finally kicked her sexual bipolar butt out. That was it for me. I got to get out of here, man. I got class in half an hour. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I got a game tomorrow. Y'all coming? Yeah, yeah, we definitely coming, but... Are you gonna do the Delta after party after that, man? Of course, it's on now. Of course, man. Live. You already know what? Cool. <laughs> so fine. Red light. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, boy. Well, he's just a regular Richard Pryor, the agent. Hmm? That ain't funny. This for the boys still chopping, screwing flows. Coming down, swinging on the truth and foes. Them serves still buying tools and foes. I got this RA in my dorm. He be on my back for no reason, man. He messes with everybody just because he can. Nobody can touch him because he's an RA. I wouldn't say he's untouchable. I got an idea. After practice. Oh, the light steady. Ain't you ever done anything illegal, man? Come on, bro. We can't be out here like this. We don't get caught. We not gonna get caught. Snitches get stitches. You better not snitch. I'm with it. Okay. We ain't killing nobody. Just a little water. This isn't for me. This is for you. What do you think? I think it was weird uh, going back and reading my thoughts on the whole Karen thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, she's she's beautiful. You know, she's cool. She's 
sexy. Uh, you know, she... And the loving, oh, my goodness. Got to be more careful. It was bananas, Doc. I mean, we, we used to even do stuff in public, places we weren't even supposed to be at. Like where? Not really important. Um, uh uh. No, it's not. It's not uh, important. Uh. Um, but everything except for the physical was missing. So now what? I don't know. For a while, the sex was enough, you know. But I just feel like it's got to be more to it, you know. I've been married 10 years with three kids. Trust me, I know. Oh, I mean, maybe I'm overthinking it, you know? I mean, I'm too young to be all serious. No, you're not. Think about this. In a couple of months, you're gonna graduate. You're gonna walk across that stage and then step off of it. And that's where true life really begins. And don't think it gets any easier just because you get a degree. You're gonna start paying bills, Got to get a job or two, start paying off student loans. No, Curtis, now is the perfect time for you to start thinking about all of these things and start planning for it. I haven't started thinking about any of it. Then I suggest that you start. If you have any problems, any questions, let me know. Okay. Questions, Doc. Don't take this the wrong way, please. Why the sudden interest in me? Let's just say that you're not the only one whose father wasn't around. We can trade stories another time. Till then, I suggest you write about it. <laughs> What's up? I know, your door was open, so... It's cool. I was wondering... You got time for playtime? I didn't forget. Was that one of your illegitimate children or something? No, nah, he gave me a ride over him some money. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. What up, though? Nothing chilling, man. You going to the party tonight? But of course. Cool. Commission of soup? You going? Yeah, I don't know, man. What else you got to do? It ain't like you're going to do some homework or something. Nothing, nah, man. You know I'm going. You know okay. I'm going. Come on, baby. Okay. I just did, you know. That's n uh, And you going to play me like? I was about to. I, I, I saved you. No, nah, don't worry about him, though. That's the same guy that after he gets through boo booing. He uses people's face rags. Yeah, that's your boy. At least I told y'all. Y'all, y'all still give me stuff about that. At least I told. No. Okay. You know that's not even cool, man. Did you see them cheerleaders? I was like, hell no. I don't know. The players were holding me down, though. Ooh, yes, they were. Uh, don't you work at the university hospital? Yeah. So. We actually met the other day. Uh, we didn't really get a chance to. Rough night tonight, dude. I'm sorry. Let me take care of something. Curtis King, huh? <laughs> oh, you bringing your coochie out of retirement in a major way. I have her. He's just some crazy dude from the hospital. How you know he crazy? Because he carries more on one of those therapy journals that the mental patient use. Huh. Anyways, I need to go get my daughter. So can we get, out? Can we get out here? Please, can we get I know. out here? What the hell are you doing here? We need to talk. I don't have anything to say to you. Then can you hear me out? Why? I know exactly what I need to know, okay? You were man enough to lay your behind down with my mama and make me. You weren't man enough to get up and help take care of me. That's all I ever need to know. Look, there's so much more to this story, son. Listen, there's nothing else to say, okay? Stay out of my life. I don't want anything from you. I'm nothing like you. I don't even want to see you. This is 
Phi Delta Mu New Party. Say it! I'm definitely trying to knock something down tonight. Bow, 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 bow. Let's go. Hey, what's up with you and Mocha over here, man? I seen you talking to her. She just gave me her number. <laughs> no, she didn't. Yes, yeah, she did. I just got a number. Just like literally seconds ago. Mm -hmm. What? Really? Did you give me a number? Told you. Mm, she gave you a she cold just... look, cold shoulder. Yeah. She ain't... <laughs> Good luck, bro. I'm going home. What? Y'all enjoy. Have fun. What you doing? I got an early start, Jay. Gotta go, man. The early start to being a lame? What? Oh, whatever. Yo, King. You out? Yeah, man. I gotta go. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I just made this bad short. And you already know. Do your thing, bad. big dog. So, Mike, are you single? Absolutely. Oh. Well, what are you doing later? Whatever you want to do later. What I want to do? Now, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, what I want to do. Hey. Curtis, can you please give me a ride home? Come on. Thank you. So. So listen. So was what that. the hell are you doing in my car? Hmm? What you mean, hmm? I ain't stutter. Why are you it? How did you even? Do you have my key? Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, yeah, man. All right, I made a copy because I felt it'd be, it'd be a little bit more convenient for me to have a key. You know what I'm saying? Soup, if you do not give me my key. <sighs> Would you want the house key or the car key? Are you kidding me? Both. Now. You are a mess. I almost saved you. With what? You My taser. 50,000 volts. You got a taser? I would have took that afro right to a nice little perm. Almost tased you. How you doing, Karen? Karen, you look beautiful tonight. Did I tell you that? So what's that? I ain't talked to you, you ain't called me, I haven't heard from you in, what, two weeks? I told you, I want more than what you're offering, Karen. Okay? Wanna come inside? You know I do, but I'm not. If he's unavailable, I'll be gladly to massage your feet tonight. Soup! You are not helping at this point. I'm eat, just saying. Eat some glue. You sure? No. But I'm going to hold on to this little bit of strength just long enough for me to pull off. All right, well, it's your loss, baby. Night, Karen. Good night, Karen. Well, you are tripping. You just, can you get in the front, please? Oh, I can't back no. out of here with your afro in the back seat. I can't believe you let that walk away. We did some homework and found out a little more about your new friend. Mm -hmm. Curtis King is 24, 6 foot, probably got a 4.0, started college a little bit late, is on the basketball team, and is an alpha, uh -huh. packing an omega. <laughs> uh, he ain't crazy either. He's interning for Dr. Thompson. That's why he had the journal. See? And? And? He's single, he's fine, and he was checking you out. Stella, you must get your groove back, darling. When's the last time you had some? Mm -hmm. That long? Look, I am 26 years old, and I do not have time for guys with games. And that's all I seem to attract. So, until that right one finds me, I'll worry about it then. I just hope it still works when he does. Well, I'm praying <laughs> that it still works, and I'm going to bring you some holy water splash down on it. holy anything. Yeah, okay? mm -hmm. None of, none of what you're... Pray. Free. Heba Bubba Shaman. Are you? All right, let's bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. I gotta be real. You guys are killing me. Basketball is about pride. Man, you got conference tournament in two weeks. And you can win the whole thing. But you gotta work hard. And I told you all before, there's no substitute 
for hard work. Everybody got that? Okay, let's shine through. Sean, this is what I'm gonna do. Sean's gonna give me two free throws. You miss them, you guys keep running. But if you make them, and I need you to make them, Sean, because you know what tonight is? Tonight is date night. And I love date night. Now, y'all know my wife is fine. And she puts it on, Coach. And she does it really, really good. Coach, go night night. Okay? So, Sean, give me those two free throws so Coach can go night night. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Give me two free throws on the line, Sean. Let's go. Come on, let's go, Big Sean. Let's go, Big Sean. You better not miss, boy. Come on, boy. Boy. You got it. You got this. You got this. You got this, boy. Yeah. 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 yeah! yeah! Here we go. Let's do this. Money. Oh. Yeah, baby! Bring it in, y'all. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. That's what it is. Let's go, y'all. Here we go. Excuse me. You must excuse you. I'm working right now, and I don't have time for conversation with random pedestrians, so... Do you want something? <laughs> you know, I knew I knew you. You're the Wicked Witch of the West, and I hope a house fall on you today. Is that all? No, I didn't want anything. I stopped you to say you look nice. You always do. Beautiful. Mm, same stuff, different day. <laughs> He's a beautiful baby. Thank you. <sighs> How your school coming? Good, good. I'm staying on my books like I promised you I would. That's my boy. You look tired, Ma. Oh, I'm okay now. Come on now. Someone said that they were gonna concentrate on school and not be worrying about me. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You know it's gonna be so nice. You know, you're the first person in our family to finish college. I am so proud of you. Thank you. Don't you know that? I hear you. I hear you, Ma. <sighs> you know what? I, I never told you this before, but after your father left, mm. I was scared to death to raise you by myself. I knew I could take care of you, but I just didn't know if I can show you how to be a good man. <laughs> I must have talked God's ears off on that subject. But I guess between me and him, <laughs> we did all right. Yeah, y'all did good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you still mad at your fault? Yes. You can't keep popping up in my life like everything is OK. <clears throat> Listen, baby, I know you have a right to be angry at him, but eventually you're going to have to forgive him. Move on. And don't be like him. Don't. Break some woman's heart, because you're out there in the street chasing a bunch of women. Just find someone special. Love as hard as you can and let the chips fall where they may. But you gotta forgive them. I do. And who knows? Maybe someday you'll even talk. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, so funny. Uh, when I used to come to your games and see you on the court. You look so much like your father. Wow. He used to play ball? <laughs> Did he ever. But when I got pregnant, he took a second job and really didn't play anymore. Mm -hmm. You still love him? Yeah. Why? Because <sighs> he's the only man I really loved. 
because he gave me you. Best gift I ever got. Mom. You're gonna have me misty-eyed in here. <laughs> well, darling, it's the truth. Now, now for that, let's talk about some grandbabies. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. You seeing somebody? Yeah, not anymore. Are you at least getting some? Ma! Hi. I'm not talking about my escapades with you. Ooh, don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Ooh. From Dr. Thompson. Curtis, um, I owe you an apology for the way I acted the other day. I'm sorry. It's cool. You no, know, it is kind of funny. I know who you are, and you know who I am, and we've never officially met. I'm Curtis King. Uh, Paula Whitaker. Good to meet you. <clears throat> Curtis, this is my good friend, Darren. Hey, what's up? Let's go. All right. Good to meet you, bro. Um, I'll talk to you later, Paul. Uh, OK. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see you. <clears throat> I see you. What? We were just talking. Yeah. Look nice. What's up? Nice. Is that meal you in here? You on the hunt? What up? Hey, man, look, I'm glad you're here. Dave, the Q, asked me to talk to the frat about us doing like a joint food and clothing drive or something. We should do that. Let's do it. OK. See what I'm saying, man? That's your problem right there. What? You're always trying to help everybody, you're always trying to make everybody happy. That's why you're never around, Curtis. What? I'm never around because I got a full class load, basketball, and a job. My point exactly. So what does the frat fit in? What? I didn't come to college to pledge, man. Classes are first. Basketball pays for those classes. I need my internship to graduate. Any time I got after that that's free, I'm with y'all cats. Yeah. When you're not spending time with other fraternities. I was cool. I was cool with them guys before I came to college and pledged. What, am I supposed to act funny now? I'm supposed to treat them differently now? What's your problem, Mike? Oh, man, can't. Hey. Be cool. No, let Jamil, it. let him answer. What's your problem? You're my problem, man. Your loyalty isn't with us. We are not a priority to you. Wow. You spend all your time with all these other organizations out here. Starting to wonder if you even pledged to right fraternity, dude. And I'm starting to wonder how many of these words I'm gonna let fall out your face before I hit you in your mouth, man. Stop talking to me like you'd have lost your mind. I'm just saying. Maybe red would look better on you. You know, and maybe these bookshelves would look better on you. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Not for me. You ever realize you make some really bad decisions? Whatever, man. I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. Come on, man. You was wrong, Mike. You mind if I join you? Depends on what you're after, Mr. King. A little bit of conversation. And? Can we just start with that? So how's your day going? Same stuff, different day. What? My mother says that all the time. Listen, there's something you should know about me. I'm two years older than you with a six-year-old daughter. So if that's going to be a problem, we can stop this right here. God, my daughter, and my work are my priorities. So I have a no BS policy. So I don't do lies or games. So as a matter of fact, we can just stop this right here. Because I don't. Yeah, I really think you're overthinking everything, OK? Now, I don't want anything from you. I'm just trying to get to know you. Now, do you have plans for lunch tomorrow? You are persistent. Very. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the same place. Tomorrow here at 12 noon. Good. And so will I. Got to get to practice, but I will see you tomorrow. You speak of relationships often in your writing. What exactly is it? you want in a relationship? Something real. I want to 
I want to love a woman the way my mom loves my dad. You know, the way my coach loves his wife. That hurry home from work kind of love, that. So anything less than that would mean you're... Settling? Exactly. Let's change lanes for a moment. Tell me about your mom. She don't take no mess. <laughs> uh, she's a cussing Christian. Mm-hmm. She's just always been there, you know? Um, back before her first heart attack, she never missed one of my games, ever. Uh, she used to be up in the stands yelling, give him hell, baby! <laughs> Somebody followed me. I had to hurry up and get off the ground because I'd be scared she'd run out the stance and jump on the boy. <laughs> well, yeah, man, she's, she's just an amazing woman, and I love her to death. Do you tell her? Every chance I get. You also wrote about you running with your father. Are you more angry about that situation or afraid? Afraid. Of getting to know him? Of getting close to him and him leaving again? Of being like him? You know, maybe it's too soon for this discussion. Let's pick this up again next time. Be late, and how you fussing at me? <laughs> Feel like going for a walk? Yeah. Come on. You know, I never see you with anybody. How long has it been since you've been involved? Three years. It's a long time. Yeah. Must have been a pretty bad breakup if you haven't dated since then. <laughs> My bad. We don't. I have to get into that stuff if you don't want to. It's fine. When my daughter was three years old, and I found out her father had a one-year-old with someone else. So if you do the math, the last two years of our relationship were probably a lie. Or more. Sorry to hear that. Don't be. I got a beautiful daughter out of the situation. It's not to say it wasn't hard on me, but I wouldn't change a thing about it. What about you? How many kids do you have? None yet. I mean, I want some kids, but when the situation's right, when the time is right. Mm. So you're single? No girlfriends, wives, crazy women wandering about <laughs> You anywhere? looking around for no, them? I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm Come single. Out the bushes. I don't know. I'm single. No wives, no girlfriends, no tan lines. Hilarious. Hey. You really looking? I am, actually. I'm single. I was dating somebody at the top of the school year. Not anymore. I can't believe you said you wish a house would fall on my head. <laughs> so you can actually smile? Occasionally. I want to call you. Can I? Maybe you should give me your number. Only if you're going to use it. I will. When? When do you want me to call you? Tonight. Like? Like this night. To... Later on today. Tonight. It's my real number, and don't get me confused with no other guys, either. <laughs> All right. All right, Mr. King. Talk to you later, Miss Whitaker. Hey, 
Hey. Hey, did you just call me? Or did you just call me, have second thoughts, and hang up real fast? <laughs> I plead the fifth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, can you talk? Yeah. OK. Well, tell me about you. Where do I start? You can start wherever you want to start. I just want to hear you. Hey, you know, it's a big party tonight. Yes, sir. I'm there. I can't stay long, but I'm, I'm going. What? I got to drive home tomorrow. I got to drive home? Yeah. Oh, dude, what? Where, where's the old Curtis? What? what? I don't like this new Curtis. Y you totally forgot who you are. Do you remember these days? Come on, man. Diddy days? Pouring Coco Losos? Do you remember this? Do I, re do I remember? Do you remember? OK, who you talking to, baby? You remember this? Yeah, I, I do remember that. OK, I don't. So you, at some point, can you please tell me what happened? Oh, don't worry. I got it on tape. Remember when I had Keisha out there on the balcony? And okay. I got it all on tape. Uh, I want to see. It's crazy. I'm going. I'm going to the party. I'm going. I you sure, man? You yeah, definitely I'm, coming? I'm going to meet you there, but no hookups. Oh, man, look. Before you start, all of my assists are on point, OK? I'm Let's count them out then, Jay. Let's count them out. All your assists, you are old for October, OK? Old for Remember October. Brenda from your class, the one you said was beautiful Brenda that I had bad. to meet? Brenda right. was bad. Brenda looked like work boots in the face, Jay. No, 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 no. She had a workable booty. Bow! I give you that. That's where you got it wrong. I get, but you said she was beautiful. OK, and then Rachel. You hooked me up with Rachel. Remember Rachel? What's wrong with Rachel? With the taco meat, the chest hair, and she kept on wearing low-cut shirts. There's an easy solution for that. You get your Mr. Miyagi on. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> J no. You do that. OK, no no wingman. I'm not, I'm not doing wingman, but I'm going to the party. I promise. Make sure you show up tonight. I'm there. Darren, is Paula here today? Oh, there she is. Hello, Miss Whitaker. Hello, Mr. King. Question. Um, there's a party tonight at the dome room that I don't really feel like going to. Uh, but I promised I would go. You feel like going by there with me for a little bit? Only if I... Only if Tiffany can watch Trina yes, for me. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Get me and the baby all night long. Um, but you know I don't do the club thing, right? Is that a yes? Yes. I'll meet you there. I will see you later. Okay. Hush it. I don't even know. Please. Not to Why do I feel like it's I'm me going? Oh, Jesus, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Plan in your outfit. There you are, right on time. Hey, I saw you out there doing your thing. How long you been here? Just a little while. Come on. Let's dance. Oh, no, I don't slow dance much at all. I got you, come on. Okay. I told you, I got you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna grab something to drink. You want anything? No, no, no. I'll be right back. Can I get a Hennessy and 7 Up, please? Hey, you. Hey. Who is your little friend? That is none of your business, Karen. Hmm. Well, I want to see you. I need my fix, and that there is my business. And as good as that sounds, Karen, I can't. Um, you can't. I can't. You wanted to be free to do your thing, so you're free to do your thing. I'm doing mine. With that? With her? Yeah. Look at her. I mean, how old is she? That's a grown woman, and she looks amazing. Well, what is she wearing? Did she know she was coming here? There you go. All right, well, whatever. Enjoy your little prom date. Everything okay? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, that was Karen. The friend with benefits I told you I was seeing at the beginning of the school year? She's still covered? Covered? She's still getting those benefits? No. She's not. Hey, she's not. You want to get out of here? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, thank you. So, what time are you heading out? Early. <laughs> I'll be back Sunday, but um, I'm going to call you tomorrow. OK. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you for coming. Make sure you uh, call me and let me know you made it home, OK? Where'd you park? Right here. So. Okay, I'll walk it. Curtis. Hey, Ma. Hey, babe. I got a crush on my doctor. <laughs> what did Dr. Bailey say? Uh, nothing, nothing, not important. Um, you were glowing a little bit, son. <laughs> You want to tell me something? Nah. No. No. He met somebody. How do you always know? Oh, I'm a mom. Mom just know these things. Oh, my goodness. And you like it, too, don't you? I do. Did you tell Dr. Bailey about you being lightheaded, Ma, and you being more tired? I huh? told him I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Ma, Enough you need... about that. Listen to me. Just say your name, your last name. King. Exactly. <sighs> you ever notice how people kind of look up to you? You're a leader. Not you're better than anybody. I want you to accept that gift. Use it. Be a good king. You understand what I'm saying? Kind of. You will. <laughs> Honey, I just want you happy. You deserve it. I just want you to live and laugh and love hard. No regrets. You got any regrets? Not one. I loved a man as hard as I could. I raised a son as best as I could. No regrets? You know, I want you to know, Ma, I, I couldn't ask for a better mother. Oh, shit. I mean it, even though you told my behind up a few times. <laughs> but you were doing the work of two parents, and it wasn't always easy. And I love you for that so much. I love you too, babe. Ma, what? cousin Christian. Uh, oh, forgive me. He will. Just a little, 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 little cousin. This won't hurt nobody. A little bit. <laughs> you said write about it. Now you're saying I write too much. But I did not tell you to write a novel. <laughs> <laughs> but I am well, glad that you're finally addressing these things. How was your visit with your mother? It was good. Uh... I do think she knows something that she's not telling me, though. Because she kind of got a little sentimental. Did you two talk about your father? Yeah. I'm just still at the same place, Doc. I don't see how a man could just up and walk away from his family like that and never look back. Are you sure he never looked back? He's probably still looking back. I don't know, Doc. No, no. You said in your writings that he was under the influence both times you saw him. Yeah. It was probably the guilt. He's trying to drink it away. Don't you want to know why he left? Don't you want to know what he was going through? Yeah. Guess I was just too mad to ask. I didn't want to sit there talking to him and hear what he had to say. Why? I don't know. Yes, you do. Because, Doc, I didn't want to talk to him and, and get to know him. And then he leave again. Are you really afraid of becoming like him or ending up the way he did? Yeah. 
I gotta be a father one day, man. Nobody ever showed me how. I learned how to shoot a jump shot from the guys in my neighborhood. How to throw a football from friends in the neighborhood. My mom, she had the birds and bees talk with me. All that stuff is stuff you're supposed to do with your pops. Okay, so how do you avoid making the same mistakes that he made? I'm making better decisions now. Exactly. You have more control over this than even you know. You're good. I know. <laughs> Wait a minute. You sure I'm not gonna get a bill for this, Doc? I can't afford you. Yes, I'm sure. But if you pull another freaky episode like you did, we're gonna have a problem. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not laughing. It's not funny. It's not. my favorite lady in the building. Harry. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Yeah? You're so pretty. <laughs> you see my son out there. Well, I actually did just run into him by the yeah. men's locker. Really? Yeah. I love him so much. Ugh. He sacrificed so much for me. You know, for someone like us, he just broke college. And me. What y'all ladies up to in here? Me. Um, oh, we're just shooting a fat, you know, little girl time. Yeah. Mary? Bye, Mary. I got something in my eye. Let me see what we can do about that. Thank you. Uh, baby, what are you still doing here? I thought you were cold on. I gotta go soon. I got class and practice tomorrow. Okay. You know I wasn't leaving without saying goodbye to you. Uh, call me as soon as you get there. I want to make sure that you made it there safely, okay? Okay, Mama. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. I'll call you when I make it. Make sure you do. Thank you. Time since someone gave me a rose. It's been a while for a lot of things. I know. And there's something you should know. What's up? I haven't dated anyone seriously for a while. I haven't been close to a man in um anyway, in that time either. And I wanted to let you know where I stood on the subject. I, I really wanna. Wait a while before I give myself to someone like that again. Maybe until I'm married or until I know what's right. Okay. What, is this the part where you expect me to get up and run away? Kinda. <laughs> mm -mm, look, Paula, if I was just after some loving, I wouldn't have to work this hard. I like you a lot, so. It's cool. It ain't gonna be easy, but it's cool. You're worth it. You continue to surprise me, Mr. King. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. You get off at 6, right? Yeah, but I have to pick up Trina from the sitter at 6.30. So. Okay. Um, I get out of practice at 6. How about I pick you two up and we go grab something to eat? I'd love to meet your little girl. I don't know, Curtis. Okay, well, you know what? If it's too soon, no pressure. How about you see if the babysitter can watch you for an extra hour, and then we'll grab some dinner, and you'll be picking up Katrina no later than 8. Okay. Okay, good, good. Well, I got practice in 30 minutes, so I gotta go. Okay. Thank you again. You're welcome.
Sri Lanka. Okay. Ciao. Just trying to get an update on my mom's status. Yeah, this is like the third time I called, so please tell him to call me back as soon as he can. Thank you. If you don't mind me asking, what is making your mother sick? You just jumped right on in there, huh? She has heart disease. Um, hypertrophic cardio something. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? That. She's 44. She just had her second heart attack. Um, first one happened right after I graduated, actually. That's why I didn't start college right away. Wanted to stick around and, you know, help her out around the house for a little while. Let's change lanes for a moment. How are you and Nurse Whitaker getting along? How did you know about Paul and I? <laughs> I've not known for a while. Why do you think I send you down there with all that paperwork? You are something else. Okay, Doc, I got you now. Okay. Um, we are good. Thank you for asking. Um, but she wants to wait on the sex. And you really want to wait? No. I'm sure I don't want to wait. But I like her. And if it's important to her, then we're going to wait. She's worth it. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Keep me updated on that. I, I will, Doc. All right. You have a good weekend. You too. Hey, I was beginning to wonder if I was going to get my good night call. You knew I was going to call you. <laughs> you saying I got it like that? Maybe. Mm. Well, you know I'm getting spoiled, right? Is there something wrong with that? No, as long as you keep it up. But um, I don't want to be the only one being spoiled, so uh, I was wondering if I could cook dinner for you tomorrow night. OK. Um, it'll have to be about 8.30, because I don't get off at the hospital until 8. OK, good. Dinner will be ready and on the table. I'll uh, pick up a couple of movies, too. Oh, and um, my daughter will be there, too. OK. It's a day. I will see you both at 8.30. OK. Um, good night. Night, Paul. <sighs> Hey. Come on in. Dinner's almost ready. Smells good. Uh, uh, Katrina, baby, come on downstairs. There's someone I want you to meet. <laughs> Curtis, this is my daughter, Katrina. Hey, Katrina. Hi, Curtis. <laughs> Hi. Come help me set the table. I'll be in here. <laughs> Thank you for dinner. That was no good. problem. <laughs> Mom, can I watch TV? Uh, I need that homework done before you cut that TV on there. Mm. Yes, Mom. All right, get to it. <laughs> She's such a little woman. Anything I can do to help? No, 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 I got it. I got it. How about this? How about you wash, and I'll dry and put away. Can't say no to that. Thank you. So what move would you get? Oh, I got some um some family stuff so Katrina could watch. Okay, cool. Well I got the Twizzlers, so we should be all set. Okay. Are you the sunshine that's begging me? Thank you, Katrina.
you have to leave? Don't have anything going on early. I uh, just got my game tomorrow night, so I can stay if you want me to. I do. You're gonna break my heart, aren't you? No. Promise? I promise. Guys do not pinky swear. Come on now. Would you, Paula, don't make me do this. You better not tell nobody I did this. What tell? It's against man code. I pinky swear. Really? I'll look that. I promise. Good. <laughs> What happened? Well, I made his dinner. Oh, good thinking. <laughs> we watched a movie. Yes. I laid my head on his chest. Yes. We talked. And mm. He rubbed my face. Ooh. Played in my hair. Uh. Until I fell asleep. Huh? I know that ain't it. That can't be it. That's it? That's it. Oh, hell no. <laughs> He held me all night. It was perfect. And, <laughs> and no hair pulling, no spanking, nothing nasty at all? Nope. It was perfect for me. Paula, that ain't perfect. Mm. Perfect would have been him curling my toes and pulling a track out the back of my mm. head. Okay. We're gonna get to that. <laughs> We're just waiting on it. Are you sure he's not getting to that with someone else? Yes, I'm sure. I mean, it's just too good to be true. I mean, really, he's willing to wait on sex. He's super fine. And I heard through the grapevine that the boy is good. Ooh oh, and I don't know, girl. And on that note, I'm going to get to work. What is it? You feel good, coach? No, I don't feel good. I come in here again, see you guys hooping it up when you play mediocre. It's gonna be a problem. We'll run until I die. Where's Curtis? Yeah, where's King? Damn. Yo, King. <gasps> What's up, man? What's up, man? What's wrong? Hey, son, you good? Hey, son, you okay? Mama. What's wrong? My mom. What's wrong with your mom? She's gone. I'm gonna get my life together, Mom. Sucks to see you again. Hope you can get some rest now, okay?
Key, it's Jay. Let me in. What's up, man? Come on in, man. What's going on, bro? How you holding up? I'm all right. Man, I want to come over and check on you, man. Nobody seen or heard from you. And, uh, I mean, been hiding out. I just want a whole bunch of pity, you know what I'm saying? Just, just needed some time to myself. Yeah, man, I totally understand, man. What's that? It's a, it's a rock my mother gave me. It's got the word gratitude carved into it. Yeah. She gave it to me a while back, told me to carry it every day. And uh, every time I remember that, you know, it's in my pocket to remember all the things that I'm grateful for. So she was always doing stuff like that. You used to talk to your mom every day, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we had some, we had some pretty good talks my last couple of visits, man. You know, I, I think she knew. I mean, it's like she had a list of things that she's always wanted to say to me, and she said them all. You feel good about that, man. I do. I really do, man. I just, I can't get used to the idea I'm never going to see her again. You know? Yeah. She was the only family I had. Nah. Still got family here, bro. I appreciate it, um, All right, yeah. I'm your girl, right? And you know I keep it 100. Right? Yeah, Come on right. now. Right. It's time you put that thing on him. What? Just give him a little PC. What is PC? Pity coochie. <laughs> what? I just Where are you? Come up with this. I mean, I know you're trying to wait and oh, thank you, Jesus. Hold on to myself for the man, but no. I mean, I get that, but that's not working today. Today, you need to go do what you got to do. Now look. This is what you're gonna do when you go away. Hello? Hey. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Hey. Come on. What are you doing here? Watching the game. I'll have to grab a shower. Hold um. I was thinking it would be a good idea if I got your mind on something else tonight. So, I bought you a gift. Me. Mm. I thought you said you wanted to wait. I know what wait. I said. And I know what I want. Look, 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 look. Come here. Come here. Pick this conversation up another time. Okay, this is not the right time for this. But I got a new baby set on and everything. And you look amazing in it. Okay, baby, my mom just passed. And as much as I want you, this is the last thing on my mind. And why the sudden change? I mean, Tiffany thought it would be a good idea. How long has it been since Tiffany's had a man? A while. Mm-hmm. So how in the world is she gonna give you advice on how to keep yours? I just wanted to make sure you were okay. And Tiffany said Tiffany that is gonna talk you out of a relationship. Paula sex can't fix everything. And I know you. I know you don't wanna do this yet. Look, I don't wanna argue with you, okay? We can we can talk about this tomorrow. I wanna talk about this now. We can talk about this tomorrow. You and I can. Not you, me, and Tiffany. Okay? Okay. What? Haven't I taught you anything? Oh my goodness, you wear the thong in this relationship. You need to march right back on over there and be with your man. He wants to be alone. Then you leave him alone from across the room. But you need to protect your man from these women and from himself. I just don't get you. With all this good advice you give, why does your man require batteries? This is not about me and my man. Or the remote that comes with him. Ooh, remote. <laughs> Why are you still here? I'm sorry, I'll call you later. Ooh, and where is my purse? 
let me let me call you right back. All right, peace. Hey. Hey. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay, look, my boy really needs this. Just take care of him, all right? All right. You know I will. All right. Ooh, uh, baby, I didn't do this. I didn't. Yes, you did. What? No, I didn't. How did you get in here? I... So this is why you wanted to be alone? No, nothing happened, baby. Yes, I didn't it do... did. You... But it did. You're lying. I, I don't. I... Paula, listen, Vanessa, listen. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. <laughs> nothing happened. I hope she was worth it. Paula. Um, that's a cute code. Goodbye, Curtis. That was a cute cut. <laughs> you get your lying ass up out of my house. What do you mean? Lying. Liar. Liar. Curtis, Liar. Curtis, Liar. Curtis, 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 Here's your bag. Oh, stupid. You just gonna kick my purse. That's how you feeling, Curtis. Let's go. I always wanted to kick a Gucci bag. Get out of here. Paul, oh, this is Curtis. Look, uh, this is like my seventh call, okay? Now, I know what you saw looked bad. I don't know how she got in here. I don't know how she was naked. I don't, it, nothing happened. And you you won't give me a chance to explain myself. At least call me back. I, I, baby, I promise on everything, nothing happened. Just call me back. Hey, Darren. Is Paul around, man? Hey, she doesn't want to talk to you. All right, I'll try back later. She ain't gonna want to talk to you then either. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Paula, can you give me a second? Paula, I just need to talk. Paula. Excuse me, Tiffany. Um, listen, I, I need some help. Stop. Please. Did you, where, how'd you address me? Tiffany. Miss Grace. Miss Grace, Grace my name. Okay. Miss Grace, I need some help. Paula won't even talk to me. I didn't do nothing. And I'm not gonna talk to you. You got me in here talking to the enemy. Get out of here. She is not here. She don't want you. I, you Love me? don't live here no more, boo. Doc, you got a sec? Sure, Curtis. Come on in. Have a seat. Sit over here in the doctor's chair. So tell me your problems. <laughs> Relax. You might want to get your degree first. Good point. Good point. Look, um, I was really sorry to hear about your loss. How have you been? Haven't seen you in a couple weeks. Been better, but I'm OK. Got a letter from my dad when I was home. Opened it, but I haven't read it yet. I'm ready when you are. I was kind of hoping you would read it. And I would if you weren't ready. But you are. Kind of knew you were going to say that. Dear Curtis, <clears throat> please read this before you throw it away. I wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. Sorry for a lot of things. 
for the failed relationship with your mom, for leaving you too, and for doing exactly what my father did to me. They don't make enough Hennessy to wash away that kind of guilt. I've been at almost every home game you've ever played here. I'm proud of you. And I wanted to tell you in person, but you have a temper just like your old man. Anyway, I live and work here in town and am usually at People's Bar on Main Street after work. If you get time and could please stop by and talk or have a beer with me one of these days, it would mean the world to me. Sincerely, Curtis Sr. This chance that you have right here, right now, I wish I had that chance again. I carried all the hate I had for my father for way too long. Wouldn't take his calls, wouldn't see him, nothing. Eventually, I forgave him. Even went to try to find him a couple years back. He was dead. Curtis, go see your father. Ask him everything you ever wanted to know. And try not to take all that anger in there with you. But go. If you don't, you will regret it the rest of your life. Trust me. I know. Can I get a water, please? <clears throat> Curtis. Curtis? It's a, it's a happy surprise. I'm happily surprised. I figured you were right. We need to talk. Where would you like to start? Well, Mama used to say that there are two sides to every story, and I haven't really given you a chance to tell yours. So, start at the beginning. OK. All right, done. <clears throat> well, I met your mother in high school. Um, she was a sophomore, I was a junior. I saw her on the track the first time she was running a lap or something. Thank you. No, thank you. See you next week. All righty. Curtis King. Hey, Doc. I just finished reading the last entries into your journal. You've come a long way. Thanks, Doc. Not the same young man that came in here a year ago. I hope you know that. Yeah, I do. Good. Oh, Curtis, you got your resume together? Yeah. Get it to me. What are you up to, Doc? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Resume. You have it before the day's out. Hey, yo, King. What's up, man? You good? Yes, sir. Hey, um, I've been hearing about this Greek weekend thing. Is it all that hot? Like, it's gonna be bananas. B bananas? Bananas. You better sleep Thursday night, because you ain't gonna sleep again until Sunday. Come on. I mean, like, I'm with you, dog. So, like, what? Pack a lunch and get some sleep.
Curtis King, I thought you might want to know that Paula is seeing somebody else now. You're really enjoying this, huh? Oh, I'm having a ball at it. I mean, I hate to be the bearer of bad news and all. Mm -hmm. You know, Tiffany, I'm, I'm old fashioned. So I ain't gonna put my hands on you. <laughs> I wish you would. Never, I mm -mm. wouldn't even dream of it. Oh, but I, I will happily wouldn't. pepper spray your goofy ass if you don't get away from my tech. Why would you say that? So I can get him to stop bothering you. Duh. Well, he already did. He hasn't called or come by in a week. Good, and it worked. <laughs> Why are you breathing hard like you got a problem with that? Because I miss him a lot. Now, how does one miss what one has not had? Why does it always have to be? Really? I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't even know what brother's really working with. Um, I just, I haven't been this happy in a while. Ugh. Happy. Ugh. Are you seriously gone over? Are you really? Real? For real? That's where we at with this? No. Mm -mm. I'm my girl. We're going shopping. It's a crazy year, man. <laughs> Man, tell me about it. Your boy Soup, he bought food and drinks for once? I know. Yes, I did. <laughs> you fell in love and everything. That's, yeah. That was different. You really love that girl, didn't you? Yeah, man, I never got a chance to tell her. Still think about her. Some big, pretty brown eyes and that smile. Kisses taste like grape Kool-Aid. That's ghetto. Uh, y'all sound like y'all together, all right? Listen. What? Could you just stop talking poetic right now? Hey, forget him, because he's, he's nuts, so... Look, can I... Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up, J-Lo? She run out of that 150-pack already? I got some <laughs> bags upstairs if you need them. Nah, nah, man, I... Uh, <clears throat> mm, actually can't take this anymore, man. I gotta... Gotta come clean with you about something. I wouldn't tell him, Jay. I... Mm, look, man, I... Oh, man, I let Karen in that night. I, I, I know. What? I know, I know, but see, I, I just thought it'd do you some good. Wait, 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 wait. So, no, 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 no. So all that was your fault? All of, I lost Paula because of you? No, 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 bro, I was just trying to help you, you out. No, right? stop, now just... stop right there, stop right there. I don't want to talk about it no more, OK? Uh, no, I'm, I'm telling no, you. Jay, I'm... I don't want to talk about it no more. Come in. Hey, you good? I'm good, man. We need to leave. Yo, hey, man, I'm sorry. Jay, I'm done. Yo, Nick, just hear me out. I don't want to talk about it no more, man. Hey, hey. Oh. You just coming out of the shower? Oh, my goodness. Coach, you wanted to see me? Hold on, hold on, baby. Give me a second, son. Okay. Thank you. Hey, got a second. Yes, babe. I get off at, uh, I get off at 5. I'll be home by 5.08. <laughs> I can't wait. I love you too, Mama Bear. <laughs> hey, I gotta go. Let me guess, Coach. It's day night? Yeah, yeah, it's day night. Come on in and close the door, son. Look, son, I wanted to talk to you about your future. It's time, man. You know, it's time for me to go and get on up out of here, man. Graduate, you know? So what's next? Well, you know, I've been taking a lot of classes, you know? I've been trying to get my master's in education, and uh, I think I'm going to come, come back up here and uh, teach a little bit. You're going to be a professor? Yeah, I'm going to be a professor. Oh, here. Lord, help us all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, congratulations. I'm speechless, man. I know you are. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that, man. You take care, man. You too, brother. Right. You too. You... Hey, hey, quick. Is that my dress shirt? I'll put it back in the closet, man. Thank you. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, before I forget, here's the key to your safe. Okay, hey. Hey. I owe you an apology. Um, Jay told me everything, and the Karen situation wasn't your fault. Okay. Okay. 
What do you expect me to say? I don't know. I, 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 I guess. Um, I guess if you accepted my apology that you would run over here and hug me, kiss me, tackle me, I don't know. Something like that. Guess you figured wrong. All them times I was trying to track you down and talk to you and explain what happened. You wouldn't even give me a second to talk. Now I'm supposed to run over there and, and kiss you and hug you. No. You can come over here and do all that. <laughs> that look real nice. I want some sugar. Jay. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. I just sure wanted to come over and apologize, okay? We good. Are we cool? We good, she man. told you everything? Yes, we good. Right, cool. That's great, because I got to go. I met this girl named Tiffany at the hospital. Oh, oh yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. You should, because she told me she going to help me use that whole 150 pack. Oh, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I think I'm in love. <laughs> good luck, brother. Get a nap first, though. You'll need it. So we went by your apartment today and your stuff was gone. Thought you were going home. No, I uh, moved all my stuff into my new place. So you're not leaving? No. I'm actually going to be the assistant head coach next year. Coach Woodson is retiring in a couple years and wants to groom somebody to take his place. So that's going to be me. And. Doc Thompson helped me get a part-time caseworker position over at the hospital. So it looks like I'm gonna be around here a while. Curtis. Wasn't sure I was gonna see you today. Want to miss it for the world, Julia. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm Paula. This is my father, Curtis Senior. Hi. Good to meet you. You too. So, I'm starving. Y'all wanna eat? Absolutely. Okay. Shall we? <laughs>
thăm lại miền quê nơi có một chiến đê có hàng che du đi chiều về ơi quê ta bánh đa bánh đúc nơi thảo thơm đồng xanh trái ngọt nơi tuổi thơ ta đã trải qua đẹp như giấc mơ ơi quê ta giàu sương dài nắng tiên chợ nghèo lèo tranh mãi siêu kia ra sông bên lơ bên bồi bao nhiêu năm theo dòng đời đua chen phiêu bạt ơi phồn hoa cát bụi đôi khi cánh có dư lạc vào giấc mơ qua câu thời gian trôi mau nơi bền lâu là nơi lắng sâu thiếu quê hương ta về ta về đâu mà đi Hãy subscribe